How's it going, everyone? This is Trailer Rob coming to you back from the trailer. Um, come to you today. I want to probably take a closer look at this SKS um, and just go, uh, kind of go over it and um, talk about it a little bit. Um, I'm no expert on these things. I'm still learning about them. But uh, I just wanted to kind of show you what I got here. And uh, that way you can see um, um, what I'm dealing with here. Um, so uh, from the intro, you'll, probably, you'll see the video there at the range. That was the first time for me shooting the SKS. And, um, uh, and so it was really enjoyable. I had fun shooting it. Um, it, it shot really good. I had no hang-ups, no, um, uh, um, no misfires, anything like that. Uh, so I was pretty impressed with it. And um, it, the gun shot with a, a soft recoil. And, um, and it shot really, uh, shot really well, shot on target. Um, it was sighted in, uh, sighted in really good. Um, it was a pretty accurate gun. So um, you can see here that it is, uh, it is uh, already locked back, so the gun is unloaded. Uh, in order to operate this here bolt, you just want to um, pull this back. Once you pull it back, it will um, lock like that. And um, and um, if you want to check the magazine, if you had rounds in the magazine, you can. Um, Use this here detent right here, and that'll fly open and release it any rounds in it. And um, so on this here SKS, this is a, a Russian uh, SKS, and um, it's um, pretty much all the numbers uh, match on this here. But um, on the bottom, you can see, um, it's been inscribed the number. So um, I'm gonna take it. That's not original, maybe. You know, but other than that, though, I know um, one of the things that um, they say you should be looking for is um, all the numbers matching. So, like on the uh, cover here is matching, um, on the frame is matching, um, uh, uh, on the grips, everything, everything is matching. Trigger guard, everything is matching except for, like I say here, it is inscribed with a um, with a etching tool. So, other than that, still a pretty nice, uh, really, pretty, pretty nice gun. Um, so I do like it. Uh, you can see right here we got the bayonet. In order to do that, I'm pretty sure everybody know by now. You just pull that down, push that, push that forward, and it just snaps on like that. And then to take it back off, pull it forward, and then you just close it back up. Bayonet, bayonet is not sharp, so you don't have to worry about cutting your hand on it or anything like that. And then, um, in order to load it, I got the stripper clip here. Um, you just simply put these here in there like that. Take that bullet forward, just push down on it, and it'll it'll load real easy and quickly. Um, and so that is pretty cool. Or you can load them by singles, and you can just uh, uh, load them in there uh, sing with singles. But um, so it's really easy to load. Really, uh, really nice and fun to shoot. It's a really good gun, um, and um, I, I'm, I'm a, I'm a tactical gun guy. I really like my tactical uh, guns, especially my AR pistols. But I do, I do find this gun really nice and uh, fun. This gun is comes in at like eight point, um, uh, eight point four, uh, eight pounds, like forty inches long, seven six, uh, seven point six two by thirty nine caliber. Um, it says it has a uh, rate of fire of, um, oh, not a rate of fire, but a um, the, uh, feet per second is uh, 24, 11 feet per second. And it says it has um, 1,312 um, feet of uh, practical range. Um, so four, uh, 400 meters, if you want to talk meters. Um, but and then um, and, uh, it holds ten rounds. But overall, though, man, this thing is is nice. It's fun, a fun gun to shoot. I think it's it's, it's really um, a practical gun if you wanted to hunt with it. If you I, honestly, I think uh, personally, it's, it's lightweight. You can um, you can travel well with it. Um, the sling is nice and sturdy, and it, and it fits good. Um, you you can almost do anything you want, including. Um, uh, defense, hunting, um, whatever, whatever your needs are, 
you can do it in that instant. You can rapid reload this thing. This thing been in many wars, still been used today. So when you look at it like that, they've been around for a long time, and that's uh, and it's no surprise why. So if you get a chance to get your hands on one of these here, um, just go ahead and buy it. I know a lot of times um, uh, those guys talk about back in the um, 80s and in the 90s, you could get these things really, really cheap, um, like, you know, $100 or less. Um, now, um, it's going to cost you a little bit more. I paid 650 bucks for this one, which is maybe on the higher end, but um, do I think it was worth it? I think it was worth every penny. So, even though it's, um, um, you know, I paid probably a premium price, it's in really good shape. There's, like I say, it's, it's, uh, it's not... Um, it's not beat all up or it's got all its parts shoot well accurate so i um, think it's money well spent i think anybody who get one whether you get it for 400 or 600 um you're getting a good deal so don't be afraid to go out and um and buy it uh, like you say just examine it look over it make sure it's got all its parts try to get matching numbers if you can if you can't i don't uh, unless you're a true collector I guess it really is not going to make that big of a difference um, on whether you get all matching numbers. I, I, I think as long as you get a complete gun, uh, you're going to be doing real good. Other than that, that's all I really have uh, for that. Just, uh, just was uh, just try to make a quick video. I hadn't made a video in a while. I wanted to take a closer look at this gun or a semi closer look at it. Talk about it a little bit. Um, um, really cool gun. Really cool gun, and, and I don't think it's outdated. Um, like I say, um, I got I got AK, I got the uh, AR, and this gun right here is just as um, just as fun. The capacity is not as much, um, but I mean for what it is, it's a really nice gun and really fun to have. So anyway, um, remember to hit that like button, subscribe button, and um, and uh, share this video. And also uh, remember to stay vigilant, um, stay locked and loaded, trust in God because God is still in control. And, um, and, and um, until the next time, y'all stay safe. Stop right there.